Hello, this is Sharif Abu Zaid, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can design a beautiful looking content timeline like the one you see right now in this screen. Of course, you will be able to customize the background color of the sections of this content timeline. Of course, you'll be able to change the icon, the background uh, color of the icon, and also that change the font and the headings, colors, and font sizes of the content sections. Having a content timeline like this in, inside your a website can be used for a variety of purposes for example you can use it to feature the milestones of your company or even you can use it maybe to feature the important or all of your team team members and if you are a SaaS company maybe you can use this content timeline to feature the big releases of your uh, software the plugin that will be used to design this content timeline is a free plugin so you don't have to pay in extra charges to design this content timeline so let me show you how you can design one like this but before i show you how you can do this please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because this video is part of my 100 days uh, video creation challenge where i create a video every single day for 100 days for youtube so your subscription to the channel will be a great support for me during this challenge so now let me show you how you can do this uh, simply you need to install a plugin called the spectra so to do this, you go to your uh, WordPress dashboard and click plugins and click add new. And you need to search for a plugin called Spectra. And this is the plugin that we're looking for. This plugin has been developed by the same team who has developed the uh, well-known or popular uh, Astra theme, which is a very powerful free theme as well. This is, you can install it by just clicking install now. This this button will look like, like this. Look, uh, you can click, you just click install now and then activate the plugin. Once you activate the plugin, you will have a new item here in the uh, left side bar of the screen. Let's go to the dashboard. Once you are inside the dashboard, you will have access to all the blocks and extensions uh, options of Spectra. As you can see, Spectra will provide you or support your website with different blocks. For example, you will have the heading block, the image, the info box, the buttons, the countdown timer, the call to action, and content timeline, of course. So make sure that you activate this content timeline. It should be like activated like this. To create a new one, let's go to a new and create a new page. Let's cre create a new page here and let's give this a name. And now we can start designing our content timeline. The first step I like to do is to add a container. So I just click this plus button to add a container. So I'll just drag the container. It's also provided by the Spectra, by the Spectra plugin. So I just choose when uh, I will choose one um, column container. And now I'll just click this plus button and search for timeline. And I will choose the content timeline. As you can see, this is the content timeline. Let's start by like um, tweaking the design itself. For example, um, you will have like the orientation of the timeline. You can choose to be like left aligned or right aligned or like in the middle, like the one I have shown you. This looks beautiful. And for the colors, most of the colors, you will find most of the colors under the style tab. Here we can control the um, gap between the content the timeline gap we can choose it we can increase it to be like this to give it some breathing some breathing and also if you can if you need to you know increase the gap between the marker and the um the timeline itself you can control it from here so and also we like to add some padding for the content of each uh, section or timeline child to give to control the padding you can control it from here let's give this like 20 pixels and you know what let's just um, link it together and let's give this like 15 pixels so we can give a breathing for every section of the timeline. Now to change the background, we go to the timeline um, items and we go back here or at the bottom we'll find the background color. We can change it from here. So now we can have like a beautiful looking background section. Of course, the colors will depend on your uh, brand colors. And also let's change the header, the heading a color to be like white let's change this to be white here and let's change also the description to be white so this looks much better now so um if you want of course you can still change the typography of the uh, heading you can change the typography from here uh, as a standard spectra will take the font size the colors from your theme uh, but still you can have like um, granular control over all the headings uh, the font size the family you can change it from here so let's just make, maybe make this like 25 pixels so now all the headings will be 25 pixels and of course you can do the same with the description um, so for the um, icon itself let's go to let's close this one and let's choose the connector and here you can choose the uh, this line you can change its own its color 
So if you like to make it like um, black, you can change it from here. You can change the background color of the icon. So let's change it to be something like this. Uh, you know what? Let's change it to be like this. Uh, oh, let's give it like, I think, okay, this color looks nice now. And this is the color of the icon, the background color of the icon itself. Of course, you can change the color by going back to the general tab. And for the timeline, I think this is in, under the connector. Yes, under the connector here, you can have control over the icon size. So let's make this like 20 pixels. So can it change the um, size of the icon itself? But I think we can start by changing the background size, the background color of the icon itself. Let's make this like 40. Let's make this 45. And then we can increase or decrease the color of the icon itself from here. So now we have we have changed the background color. Let's change the icon itself. So we just, you know, click change icon here. And here you will have multiple icons or different types of icons that you can choose from. Let's go to the business icons and choose this anchor one. And let's click insert icon. As you can see, the icon itself has now been changed. So this is now... Um, of course, you can change the header and or the heading of each uh, section. To change this, let's make this like a uh, phase one. Let's call this phase one. And let's call this phase two. As if this is a content timeline for a project. And let me change the list of the phases. Now we have like five phases for this project. If you like to add one more content timeline or one more child kind, uh, timeline, you just um, click here and click the plus button. Here, now we have an extra block for this content timeline. Let's call this uh, phase six. Now we have six phases of this project. Now, maybe you are wondering how you can change the date itself. So each date is relevant or is interrelated to each, to each content timeline child. So this content uh, section is called content timeline child. So once you click here, you can change the dates from here. But before I show you how you can change this, let me show you how you can change the um, date format itself. So you need to go to the content timeline itself, the big picture of the content timeline, and under layout, you can change the date format here. Or also you can maybe, you just like to disable the uh, date itself, but of course I like to enable it here. You can change the format of the um, date right here. So for example, I like it to be like, start only the, um, the month and the year. So it will be like January uh, 2019. So again, we can go back to the um, to the child content timeline itself, and let's call this like um, March. Let's call this like sorry. Let's call this like March 2019. You can, of course, you can change the rest of these dates. Uh, let me go back again to the content timeline and see you and show you some extra options so under the timeline again you can control um the position of the arrow itself so for example you can make it top to the bottom or center according to the position of the icon itself and of course you can change the date as i mentioned here for the controller here you have like even you can change the border width itself so let's make this like two pixels so the pixel of the border of the icons themselves will be can be controlled from here but i like to make it like zero for now of course for the thickness this is the thickness of the container itself you can increase it from here let's make this like five as you can see the controller itself as uh, the controller thickness itself is um increasing so let's just leave it at three and let's click publish and let's view with the page now and this is the container but as you see we haven't touched the font size of the dates so let's go back again and go to i think to the style part and let's go to the container let's go to the date and here we can control the font size of the date so let's make this like 25 as well let's click update and let's refresh the page as you can see now we can have an extra size or the font size has increased so this is the content timeline if you are asking how you can add a heading for the content timeline you can do this inside the heading, but you need to add an extra block to be able to add a heading or a headline for the for the timeline itself. So you can do this by going back to the content to the content timeline and choosing the content timeline itself and click this three dots and then um, choose insert before and then click this icon 
and look for heading tab this is the heading uh, the heading block sorry of the spectra as well so the block this is the heading block also provided by spectra we can change this give this a um, a title and then we can centralize this by going to the right side bar or side bar of the screen and let's align this to the middle now we can have this uh, this heading here if we click update and let's view the page as you can see now we have a heading for the content timeline if you don't like the spacing between the content timeline and the header you can go here and once you choose the heading the heading widget itself you click insert after and click the plus button and search for a spacer to add like some spacing and let's make this like 20 22 let's make this 25 pixels let's click update and let's go here and let's refresh the page and here i think we have enough spaces here so this is how you can easily create a content timeline for your website as you can see we have already used a free plugin called the spectra Make sure you download it to be able to add like a beautiful looking content timeline and also can control the font size, the colors, the icons and everything inside this content timeline. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and again, please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel because this video is part of my 100 days of video creation for my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching again and see you in the next video. Bye for now.